Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. We're almost at 5,000, y'all. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, come on in. So today, I figured we would do who's watching you, who's around you. Um, because I still feel like this X energy is still with you. Um, and that way you kind of know how to move forward here. So let's get some messages from this particular person who seems to want to keep you down. I just trying to want to be a fly on the wall and see what's going on with them. If you're not interested in knowing what's going on with this ex person, just click off. Okay. But that's what we're going into today. Juggling came out. Oh my gosh. So this person is worried about you being successful. This person is a narcissist. Um, I don't know if you're, maybe you got a promotion, maybe you're, um, whatever business that you was working on when you were with this person is taking off, but they feel like, they feel like because they're not a part of this, it's like they're watching you. Um, you are your own worst enemy when it comes to this. Or they're their own worst enemy when it comes to this. Like, they have you so much in their head, they can't even focus on their own situation. They want to tell you that the person they cheated on you with wasn't, didn't mean anything to them. But this person is still poisoned, so do not drink the Kool-Aid. And this karmic that they pretty much left you for while you were in a relationship is still there. You're focused on yourself. And this person is focused on constantly having sexual encounters with multiple people. It might be somebody new in your energy that is willing to give you equal give and take right now. That this ex is broke as shit. And they are going to communicate with you. But they just look at you as like a meal ticket. Like whatever you give them energetically, physically, financially, they just want to be able to still take that from you. They still want to be able to control every aspect of your life um, because they're running scared of their own life. This is a serious person to be cautioned from. They envy you. You did have a strong sexual connection with this person, but that confused you and made you think that they were somebody that was supposed to be in your life. They really weren't. Um, you're working so hard towards your goal, so keep going. This would have been a no-win situation for you. This person likes to love bomb you and then leave. So hold out for something that's real and your money is about to change. That's why this person keeps coming around you. The runner is now the chaser because they see the opportunity in your wealth and you are extremely attractive when you're working on yourself. Okay, so let's put some tarot on this and see what the hell is going on. Knight of Pentacles, somebody is moving slow towards you. Very oh, somebody's moving slow towards you because they're a fucking liar. They know that you're not gonna listen to anything they have to say. Like they are strategically trying to come towards you with a lie. Because they <laughs> you left this person out in the cold, no hope, no new beginning, no reconciliation. We are officially done. I want nothing to do with you. Um it's almost like they're lying to themselves if they think that you still want them. Here you are as the high priestess, happy as shit, the sun, ace of wands. You are not, you're on your own path. Like your, your energy is so, it's like you bring a light. You uplift people when you're around them. Ace of Wands right behind it is bringing you so many new opportunities. Um, it's opening a lot of doors for you, but it's like this person doesn't want you to walk through any of those doors. And they still wouldn't treat you any better if you were to come back. It's like this person doesn't even understand what you are to them. So they, what's the point of giving them yourself again when they're going to just misuse you, mishandle the situation and try to control you? Here you are coming up as strength, looking at what you have. And Queen of Cups, like stick to that type of energy. Stick to that pureness about yourself where if you want to be happy today, be fucking happy today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nothing and all of this shit that happened in your past is going to affect you today change your your outlook on that like you can control how you want to feel it's like everyone loves being around your energy because it's so uplifting so if that's the type of energy you want to embody just do it you don't need permission 
Um, oh, you may feel like you don't have choices when it comes to love, like not many, or choices that you want to entertain. But you're about to get some communication from somebody. Somebody that confuses the shit out of you. They just, <laughs> what? This person knows that you, this is somebody totally different, I'm sorry. But this person knows who you are, especially with the Six of Cups. I don't know if this is a, this is a past life connection. This is a twin flame connection. They know who you are, but they're not communicating how they feel about you. Why is this King of Pentacles so quiet about how they feel about the collective? Why won't they express themselves? Mm. Um, mm, why is Three of Swords here? Damn, this person still feels like you messing with your ex. They feel like you're, you're still messing with whoever this reckless motherfucker was. They feel like you would put them in a situation where you were juggling the two of them. They don't know you very well. You're not like that. Um, you don't want shit to do with this ex. So why is this person stuck in their head about this Three of Swords? King of Swords, Three of Wands. Two of Pentacles, King of Swords, Three of Wands. Um, it's like they're using their head and not their heart. But I don't know if this person is juggling a lot of things. They could have a lot of responsibilities. And due to having all these responsibilities, they just kind of departmentalized you and put you in this box. Like, oh, this person's probably fucking with their ex anyway, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but it's like every time they try to separate themselves from you, it's almost like spirit puts y'all in a situation where you have to be around each other again. Um, why five of swords? I don't know who this is to you, but they seem to be in two minds about you all the time. Mm. They look at you as the star. They look at you as possibly the one. There's a perception here that has to be changed. Like this person has to grow a little bit more for you. I think like you you've had the lessons already also your wish fulfillment to them I guess they don't feel like they need to change their mindset about themselves it has nothing to do with you it's like I don't I, I want to say this person doesn't feel like they're worthy to have you in their life in that way um and that's not how you feel about them you feel totally different um they look at you as very vulnerable like you're very honest you don't hide anything about yourself and you don't give a fuck like you don't care if people like it or not you want to be your authentic self unapologetic like I want to say they almost admire that in you and wish they could do that themselves but or they thought they were doing that themselves until they met you and realized I was half-assed doing that this person is the real thing like they really are themselves at all times they don't put on a facade for anyone So they don't know if they want to come towards you or leave, but you are their wish fulfillment. That went in a whole nother way. What else is going on for the collective? <laughs> um, yeah, this, you know what? This ex tried to stop something for you completely and totally tried to stop something. And it's just not going to happen. It's almost like fate has stepped in. They tried to change your destiny, but fate is causing this to come back. Um, It's, it's like you, um, you inspire people. Whatever you're inspiring people to do, you're going to actually be very good at it. And you, it's, if you were thinking of starting a business, because this is going in two ways. If you were thinking of starting a business, you would get justice. You, you would, this would thrive. This would be successful. Um, and it's really because you are inspiring to people. Your reading is all over the place today. Uh, yeah, like you don't have a block anymore. That block is gone. This block that this person used to have over you is gone. They have no control over you anymore. Here you are as the magician manifesting your ass off, um, getting exactly what you want. Whatever you put out there, you're able to bring it right back to you. Um, and you're protecting yourself at all costs. Nine of pentacles and four of pentacles. It's like you're holding on to 
uh, I don't want to say being single, but you're holding on to being happy and fulfilled by yourself. That's more important right now than trying to be happy and fulfilled in a relationship. It's like, I got to fix the first relationship I have, which is my relationship with myself. And it's like, you're holding on to that. And the, the more you hold on to it, the stronger you get. A lot of these walls and barriers that you've created for yourself or that others try to create are broken. You're no longer blocked. It's almost like you're unstoppable. Ace of Swords, Five of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. And this ex does not want you to walk away. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to be better. They don't, it's like they want to keep you in this crazy ass mindset because, oh my gosh, it's like you have the same message for both of these energies. This ex did not feel worthy to have you either. So, but their way of dealing with it was trying to tear you down to their level. So because they didn't feel worthy of having you, they wanted to keep you on a low vibration all the time. But it can't. Again, fate is stepping in. And fate watched you do the work. It's like spirit watched you change yourself, watched you go towards a higher purpose. So love is coming. Like, even if you don't want it, being honest, it's going to be in your face. Um, It's nothing you could do about it. Like, this is... Love is coming. And people are going to be very jealous of what they don't understand or what they don't know about it. I don't know if the two of you are very secretive about what you have going on, whatever the situation is, but the moon and the devil in reverse. Um, I feel like it's going to be a lot of people desire you specific. So you're going to have a lot of people jealous when you go into this two of cups energy all the way. A lot of people are going to try to stand in your way, stand in this other person's way. It's almost like this is what I want to say. All of these outside entities are trying to change both of your perception of one another so that you'll stay away from each other. You have to question yourself and ask why. You know what I mean? Like, why is all of this shit happening? Like, why every time I turn around, there's some type of negative force or negative shit thrown on this where I can't move forward with this person that's why it's going to make a lot of people regretful when you're moving on with your life in that way I don't know if you're going to get married to this person or if you're going to be in a long-term commitment with them that is clearly very strong and, and unbreakable but it's going to cause people like heartache pain wishing they were a better person wishing you would have chose them wishing 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 you know what I mean it's like once you're gone you're gone you're looking for something traditional though so if this new person doesn't bring you something traditional you will leave I think that you're such an unconventional <laughs> energy they assume that you are kind of flighty or you don't care or you don't and what they don't understand is that you are very traditional like you're you want someone that you feel like you can be your all around and you don't want to have to share this person and you don't want them to have to share you it's like the hierophant you want a traditional relationship and if you don't get that from this person you will leave especially with the hermit being here If there's no balance, you will leave. You're waiting for the situation to become balanced. But it's like, you're not going to fight. You're not going to kick and scream. You're not going to pretty much argue. You're not going to do shit. You're just going to wait to see what this person's going to do. And if it's not what you necessarily want, you have no problem leaving because you have self-love. It's really the message there. You're letting go of illusions when it comes to love too. You're not just, I may feel this way about you, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to act crazy and I'm going to stalk you and call you every five minutes and, and ask you, are you okay? Is this, you're not in that type of time. That's not your, you're more so calm, relaxed, um, let it organically happen the way it's supposed to. You know, if you're somebody that I really care about, you'll see it in my actions. You don't got to ask. You're more, I, the illusions are gone. You're more of the real thing. 
you're even letting go of burdens when it comes to a lot of things because you felt like these burdens were keeping you down um, and you're working so hard. So it's like something was keeping you away from what you were trying to do. Um, but now you've released that. So now you're back on track with all the things that you were trying to do. This new relationship will give both of you even give and take if you give it a chance. But there is someone here that, like I said, there's people that don't want y'all together. It is what it is. There's a karmic that doesn't want y'all. You have a karmic, and I think your other person has a karmic. Um, and these two people are so fucking low vibrational, it's ridiculous. How do both of you end up with low vibrational people? I don't think this is ended, though. I think this other person is still, they're not working on it. They're not working on it at all, but it's not ended either. Um, but it's something they've released. I don't... Why is this person still around this? They don't want to... They This like this person doesn't want to accept the fact that they... Ooh, this you, Okay, so the new person must have been in a really fucked up relationship. And so they're projecting it onto you. But the reality is, if they don't look for new desires, they will lose the opportunity in love. That's really it. If they don't look for new desires, they will lose the opportunity in love. All right, let's get some messages. I'm going to wrap this up. This kind of went all over the freaking place. Sorry if it did. Let's get some messages from your person. Because you have two people thinking of you all the time. I lost myself for a little while. I wish things could be different. I want to be more than friends. And I hid who I really am from you. I'm starting to understand our connection. Their person is starting to grow. This new person, whoever this is, they're starting to understand who you are to them. They're starting to understand who you are as a person. I think they misjudged you from the beginning. Um, you're not what you seem at all. They bury themselves in work to, forgive, to forget you and they act like they're not available. But you speak to them through music and they feel like you're using them as a distraction. <laughs> ah, this person feels like you're using them. I don't react when people mention you. This person is frightened like they look at that. I love you. This person cares about you a lot. They hide their feelings though. They try to really mask. You were the best thing in my life. They really try to mask their feelings for you. And it's because you're walking with like a certain discernment, like you're not, you can control your feelings. So you're only giving what this person is giving. So if they're giving a little bit, you're giving a little bit, <laughs> you know, if they give more, you'll give more. But I think maybe that, that is the confusion. No one's ever done that to them before. It's not necessarily breadcrumbing. It's just a matter of, I'm not pouring into all of these cups all the time and, and depleting my resources. If you want me, I'm right here, right? All right, I'm going to pull one more card, and then that's it, guys. I'm getting out of here for real, because we already 18 minutes in. I hope this works out, though. I really do. Yeah, this is fate. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Be flexible. Serendipity, loyal heart, and never-ending story. This person has been in your life before, but this was another life. So this is a situation where you both have very loyal hearts, um, you can try to keep away from each other all you like, but serendipity is in, is in full swing. So it's kind of like, you'll start to realize like every time I try to pull away from this person, spirit pushes me right back in their face. So clearly this is something that I may need to look into for a little while and see. Um, I'm getting no energy when it comes to this ex. I feel like you blocked this person the fuck out all the way. Can I get a message? how to move forward with this X energy that wants to keep you down. You've learned the lesson, literally. You've learned the lesson when it comes to partnerships and alliances. You're wiser now and you go towards the light. You know now that you seem to be attracted to the dark. You see that in yourself. But you also know that you can't be, you can't fall in love with someone's potential all the time. 
you know, you can't do that anymore. You have to fall in love with what this person is showing you. So be careful of the partnerships and alliances that you build moving forward and use the, the lessons that you've learned with this ex to make sure that you're always on a high vibration. All right, guys, I hope that resonated with you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.